Well, guys, welcome to another episode of Tough Skin Them. In this video, we're going to introduce Llama 4, which was just released an hour ago, and it is a combination of different models. There is a largest model, it's Llama 4 Behemoth, and then there's a second largest model, which is Llama 4 Maverick, and the third largest, which is the tax only model, is Llama 4 Scout. So the smallest one does not support motor model, uh, so it only supports tax. And then the contact size probably 10 M tokens, which is quite large, and it's probably the largest. Um, contact lens for all the models that was released so far and the second one is Maverick. Maverick is probably uh, also pretty uh, decent sized model and it support a multi-model. So you can see the introduction here, the native model model with one million contact lens, which is super awesome. So I'll show you guys how to test this a little bit later, but um, so this is probably the one that you want to test uh, thoroughly because uh, it's a multi-model support tax images as very similar to uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro and with image generation. So, or image um, identification or image analysis, not the generation, uh, but it does uh, image recognition and debug, something like that. So, so that's a uh, second Maverick model. The Behemoth, Behemoth model was not actually uh, released on any of the uh, systems um, or providers. So, but you definitely can wait or try out on the meta.ai. Maybe they have it. But um, so in this video, we're gonna cover the Llama 4 Maverick and also Llama 4 Scout testing, um, and also where to test it. And then let's go through the details. So basically, if you look at the uh, introduction here, so all the models are uh, MOE models. So you can see from the uh, description here. So most of them, or all of the models that actually are released are MOE models. So they're not uh, like the dense models, but it's more of a uh, use the alternating dense and mixture of expert layers for inference efficiency. So uh, so mostly they're focused on the MOE, uh, like the DeepSeekR1 approach. So, so lots of them are a mixture of experts. And if you look at the benchmarks, so basically they say, uh, this model is actually so first is very cheap. So you can see uh, the pricing is actually cheaper than Deepseek V3.1. So you can see it's actually a lot cheaper uh, from average. And also uh, it is probably closer to the Gemini 2 Flash, which is also very cheap. But overall, overall, this is a very nice uh, pricing. And then you can see the benchmarks are very, very nice. So you can see the bit, all the other benchmarks. So it's leading most of the benchmarks. And so, which mean it's pretty good. And also if you look at the, uh, uh, other uh, metrics, you can see first, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it basically takes about um, 10 million tokens for the Scout, and then for the Mountain model, it takes up to 1 million tokens, so which is Maverick. And uh, the Scout, uh, somehow they say the video, um, okay, so the NIH is up to 20 hours and 10.4 million tokens. So this is for the benchmarks, so instruction uh, tuned benchmarks. And then there is some other things I mentioned in the at the Scott model, which is the smallest model. Uh, so comparing to other smaller models uh, like Gemma 3 and Mistral 3.1, Gemini 2.0 flashlight, you can see the benchmarks are also pretty good. And also they're marked as bold, which means they are leading the benchmarks for this uh, metrics. Uh, it's pretty good. And also the Last uh, benchmark is that Lama 4 beh Behemoth Instruction to um, Benchmark. So you can see this largest um, Lama 4 model. You can see it's actually outperforming the Cloth uh, Sonata 3 .7, Gemini 2 Pro, G Pro, GPT 4.5. So, and it's also a very nice. Uh, if you look at the uh, Lama 4 compared to Cloth uh, Sonata 3.7, it outperforms a lot. Even um, it's actually also outperforming the Gemini 2 Pro, Pro. So. Uh, that should be the announcement. But if you look at the uh, LM Arena, you can see uh, the Llama 4 is actually ranked number 2. So overall, the ratings, uh, second to the GMA 2.5 Pro, which is super awesome. We have a tutorial for that in this video, but Llama 4 memory is, is very good, uh, which was just released. Uh, so to test it, you can go to the API.together.ai. You can see uh, there's a drop down here, just register account, it's free. And you can see there's Llama 4 Scout and Llama 4 Memory Instruct. So you can test both uh, for free. At least I tested it. So you can see that the first one, which is the 
Maverick model. This is actually uh, the motor model. You can see you can upload images. Uh, just uh, grab the image and you can upload images and test it. Uh, but for the text only model, uh, it's not available for uh, images. So you can also try uh, like uh, images, but you will actually error out. But that, uh, which model is this? You can see uh, it seems the conversation has just started. We haven't provided any information, so it does not like DeepSeek. It does not actually give it a model name or type, but it does uh, basically saying that uh, it doesn't have any information yet. So, but you go to the uh, other Maverick extract, it will actually give you more concrete information, and also you can upload images. So, but this um, Scott is a text model. The Maverick is a uh, multi model. So it can actually does not actually support any of the images. So let's try and I want to actually uh, show you that. So you can actually just upload the same uh, images and say what's in the image. And you will say uh, there's no image provided. So basically it does not support images. So it's just a um, simple text model. So, but it's pretty quick as you can see here, super fast. So which is great. Um, so this is how um, you're gonna test it. You can also test it in the open router, uh, but I think uh, open router do charge a little bit price. You can see here uh, it does charge the price, but uh, it says the uh, together is actually charging some other prices. But um, well, you can test it, which uh, maybe it's limited, but you can test the together that AI for free, uh, maybe for a limited uh, limited uh, API calls. So. But overall, uh, this is how you're going to try it out uh, at this time. Hopefully this is helpful. If you do like this video, uh, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And see you in the next one.